from scrimpymummy.co.uk thanks for joining me today um, I'm being a bit busy prepping for Christmas um, I've been working and in, in and between um, like every other working mum getting ready so um, apologies at my tutorials um, I've been a bit thin on the ground hashtag non-existent <laughs> haven't had time if I'm honest um, but what I've always got time for is to say a huge huge thank you to those of you that do send me gifts um, I do appreciate it it really does put a big smile on my face when I get a package through the door um, you know that's not um, something for work <laughs> or a bill <laughs> or you know my daughter that's been um, shopping on Amazon buying stupid stuff <laughs> so this is just a few of the things that I've been um, sent recently so first of all I want to share with you this fantastic gift um, I did open them and um, I have had them probably the best part of half of the week and I just haven't had time to come and film I've just been too busy so I got these fantastic Yankee candles which I haven't opened I'm looking forward to um, setting them on fire <laughs> as it were <laughs> not often you get presents that you set on fire um, <laughs> and I'm sure they will be absolutely divine and these are from one of the ladies in my team Natalie Arnold who is an absolute sweetheart and she's made me this lovely um it's one of the foiled gift boxes like a pizza box and inside is a beautiful beautiful little card uh and i just love natalie's creations we've got a little 3d tree there i love how she's curved the sentiment and layers and layers and layers i love it and then you open it up and it's like a little book so we've got joy to the world there Okay, and she's used some die cuts. Uh, we've got scallop circles there, and then she stamped some of the little um, pine cones that come with the um, wrapped in plaid. We've got three layers of trees there. I think it's wonderful. Uh, what a brilliant idea! So if you're still doing them last minute cards, that's a really, uh, really lovely idea. I've given up me. I've stopped bothering. I say every year that I'm going to make my own Christmas cards. Every single year. I've got heaps of card. I've got stamps galore. I've got all the inks. I've got everything. The only thing I don't have is time. <laughs> and so what I've done this year instead is I have donated a small amount of money. Only a small amount of money. Not not mega books because I don't have mega books small amount of money to the PDSA which is a charity in England which helps fund treatment for animals um, perhaps that you know their owners and families human families um, can't always afford treatment that they need and so we've got a charity called the PDSA who will treat sick animals for those on low incomes so that's where I've uh, sent uh, the equivalent of buying my cards and posting them um, so this is the next page it's that like it's like a little book I think it's lovely um, so thank you for that Natalie I think that's really really lovely and I still, still keep hold of that and I still treasure it last year she did me a big shadow box with all lights in it was amazing and I've still got it so there you go that's that and then from my lovely Karen Egan who's also on my team that uh, tree punch is super popular isn't it she's done me this lovely card that's contraband foiled card paper there Karen contraband <laughs> I can spot none stamping up card from a thousand paces <laughs> but I do like that it's got like an iridescent kind of glow to it and it, it's stamping up don't do that so you know it's all well and it's all well using using um complimenting you're stamping up with contraband it's loud <laughs> so this is to me and she's even stamped a lovely sentiment love and best wishes Karen E and she's had to put Karen E because I've got more than one Karen in my team <laughs> so there we go I think that's lovely and she's heat embossed that it's lovely and she's made me this little notepad which will go on my desk is it one of them that folds out? Yeah, it's like a desk one, so it'll fold out. And we've got post-it notes and a little notebook. So I, that will go, I will actually take that to work, and that can go at the side of my um, workstation at, at, at my other job at work. Um, because I go through a lot of uh, sticky notes there when I'm writing bits and bobs down when I've got customers on the telephone. So that will go to work with me, thank you. And then here is my yearly treat 
from the lovely uh, Denise Whitehurst. She sends me these every year and has done for quite a long time. Um, let me just see, did she send me a card with it? I've got a feeling I've just got just the sweeties and not a card, but she knows that I'd know it was from. And she makes these every year and they do rum truffles. Uh, we even get the little hollies on look. Uh, and she makes these, uh, and inside, so that's a truffle, and in there you've got like a glass of cherry, and they're absolutely laced with rum. You can only have one or you'd be tipsy. And then she hand makes the boxes, and they're absolutely beautiful. And I know that Denise has a lot on at the moment, her daughter's not well, she uh, takes care of her elderly mother. Um, and so the fact that she's still taking time to do these and send them out um, really is just, uh, it just shows Denise's uh, strong character. So thank you. That is very much appreciated. They will be staying in my craft room so nobody else can pitch them. And then this card here is from my lovely Penny. Penny, Penny, Penny. Uh, Penny Humphreys here on YouTube. And um, I've been friends with Penny for a very long time through YouTube and crafting. And she sent me this beautiful card that she's made. It's absolutely lovely. So thank you, Penny, if you're there, darling. I do appreciate it. And I did get your beautiful card. Thank you. Again, Penny sends me every single year. And this one, um, it says you're a star and I think that's really nice. I'm not going to read all the message. That is from um, Corrie Hancock who is one of the um, corporate members of Stampin' Up. Is she managing director or? She's, I can't think of her exact. I'm ashamed to say I can't remember her exact title. She's a lovely, lovely lady. And she is taking care of the UK demonstrators at the moment because we are without a UK... Um, uh, DDM they call them basically a UK manager we don't have one at the moment and so Corey is, in, is looking after us and she also sent me this card and I received it a couple of days ago um, congratulating me on my um, achievements this year and then this one here is a beautiful foiled card um, from the lovely, my lovely friend Kay. I do love Kay. Again, we've been friends a long, long time. Kazzy Kane's on YouTube. I'm always um, directing you over to her. And um, so she sent me that from her and, and Gary and Tilly and Josh. Um, and then she sent me this lovely napkin, which I'm going to use. And the bracelet. Oh, what have I done with it? Do you know what? <laughs> I've forgotten to bring it down. I've to, it's upstairs in my bedroom. Okay, I've just remembered I took it out and I wore it the other day and I forgot to put it back in the bag to film it so it's upstairs in my bedroom on my little my little table where I do my makeup and that so it is there and it's a beautiful, I can't even show you now because I'm not running upstairs and stopping my video but it's a beautiful handcrafted, hand beaded um, bracelet with lovely pink tiny seed beads it's absolutely stunning oh sorry Kay <laughs> it's upstairs because I had it on you know what I'm like as soon as as soon as I opened it I had it on you know me I can't uh, wait for things so I just wanted to say a huge thank you um, I'm hoping to try and get some more of my December daily done um, we'll see we'll see how it goes <laughs> I've been wrapping and cleaning and shopping and working um, I break up I don't have to work Christmas Eve obviously not Christmas Day and Boxing Day and then I'm back to work the day after um, and then I get New Year's Eve New Year's Day off and that's it <laughs> so you know hello a bit of adulting going on um, back to the harsh reality of the working world it's my first Christmas for as long as Alexia has been alive um, that I have had to work um, in any of the Christmas period but um, daddy's taken time off he shut the firm down for two weeks so he can do a little bit of parenting for a change <laughs> so that'll be cool come home to pizza boxes probably and, and goodness knows what and then we'll sleep in front of the TV but hey ho there you go so I hope everybody has a lovely Christmas if you don't get a chance to come on again um, I hope all your dreams come true and good luck for the new year. I will try and get on again between now and, and the new year, hopefully. But, you know, a bit busy. Christmas, Santa's coming. <laughs> Take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye.